everyone, I'm with possibly the coolest dude at Seth. I mean, he's bringing that West Coast style to Georgia. Sean Spiker, what's happening? Just having a good time here on Friday. I really think your hat should be slightly skewed. It's a oh, little too no. straight. If it, uh, you know, if I was wearing a California style, it'd be straight like this, but I just can't quite pull it off. So I'll pull it down a little bit, but you know, it'd be nice if I was Mayberry and just had the hair helmet to keep the sun out of my face, but you know, alas, I have to wear the hat here because it's, just, you know, the weather's so beautiful, the sun's always out. So He's got that Mike Ditka hair. <laughs> that he does. That he does. So what do you have out here in Seth that everyone needs to know about at rcgroups.com, the world's biggest, largest RC website? Hey, do you know any, anything about those pictures that were posted yesterday of the high-tech guys that were just awesome? Was I was saying this morning I was uh, perusing Facebook and I saw uh, high-tech posts and I thought, hey, that picture looks familiar. I, I, sometimes I think they're mine and they're not, but they were mine. And they took all our photos and featured them on their uh, page, which was awesome. I appreciate it. And it had the little RC Group's logo and everything. Hey, thanks for taking those pictures. I'll take more. When I was shooting, I thought these are awesome. It was sunset and they were flying uh, water planes. It was beautiful. Okay. Well, first plane we're going to show, and this is going to be one of the ones up in the demo, is the new Multiplex Stuntmaster. So a pretty hardcore 3D plane. It just began shipping. Price is around like 169 that includes motor, servo, speed control. All you need to do is add your battery, add your receiver, and you're ready to go. Our pilot, Kim, is going to put this through its paces out here at noon. So uh, hopefully there's some video posted. Flies great. Even in the, we got a little breeze going right now. It's going to absorb it no problem, and he's going to make it look awesome. I like that it's a true profile, but at the nose, it fattens out for your gear to fit in there. It's pretty cool. There we go. Now, it's a fun plane. We're really excited about it. Uh, it just flies so well. So. Nice. And what's the retail on that? Uh, 169 is the street price. Pretty good. We also got uh, we, we also got some of our new Warbirds here. This is the Corsair. We got the P51. There's another Corsair, and then there's the Hawker. A lot of fun to fly. Very scale like. They fly pretty scale like too. The Hawker actually easiest one easiest one to fly. Flies like a pattern plane. It's beautiful out there. My core, the Corsair is my favorite. It just looks so awesome in the air, those gull wings going by. So I've been flying it out here a couple times already this morning. Um, we also got the new Multiplex Shark. Yeah, let's talk about this. This was on the water and it appears to be pretty awesome. A lot of fun. We were flying it off the water the other day. Uh, what's unique about this is, as it is now, it's set up as a float plane. But if you're not always near water, it is pretty easy to change into a regular little glider and a little pusher glider. A lot of fun, easy to fly, very convenient. Easy to fly, easy to use. Price of this is gonna be right around 170. That includes the servos, the motor, the speed control. Again, add your battery, add your receiver, and you're good to go. It's also gonna come with, actually, it's a, wheels are optional, and the wheels hook up the same way the float hooks up. Click it in if you wanna fly off some pavement, or if you wanna fly off the grass and you don't wanna get any grass stains on the foam, we actually make a skid you can put on it too. Ah, very nice. So a lot of fun. We'll probably be shipping this in about 35 to 40 days. And before we get out of here, let's go look at your battery chargers. Let's do that. So I'm always looking to charge as many batteries as possible at one time so I can get gone. And uh, you do have this option with the X4AC. Right. I, I, I keep asking you questions about this thing. So the X4 AC Plus, four port AC DC charger, it's 50 watts per channel, will charge anything. All the chemistries in the hobby, nickel metal, uh, lipo, lithium ion, lithium ferrite, it does them all. You can do four at the same time, four independent chargers, it can be any type of battery at the same time. Oh wow. Plug it into the wall at home, plug it into your power supply, good to go. We've been using this here for three days straight, it's always running. Uh, we also have the H4, which is a Cadillac of the chargers. It looks pretty serious. Yeah, it, it is a DC charger, 120 watts per port. You can bridge two ports for 240. Uh, also a great charger. You've got a little bit bigger batteries. You want to charge them a little bit faster. The H4 is one of the ways to go. And then if you've got the big boys, the 6S 5000s or higher, we got the X2 400. That's 400 watts per side, independent, this is where if you really want to hit those 6S 5000s hard, get him charged at you know, up to 20 amps, X2400 is the way to go. That's a lot of great options, and tell me about the little red. This is the X1 Touch. It's an AC-DC charger. Uh, the same convenience of the other X1s, but you've got a touch screen, very easy to use, very intuitive, a lot of fun. Someone who's looking for, hey, I like pushing the screens just like my phone, so right. got that with a charger too. AC-DC.
and right around hundred dollars and the power box looks so, like an amp so this is the e power box 30 so 30 amps will work just about anything if you need more power we have a 50 amp coming in the next couple weeks too so again all these products are backed by the high-tech name the high-tech warranty if you ever have any issue you ever have any questions we're always available give us a call send us an email we're there we're gonna help you out you can check all these things out at hottechrcd.com. Sean, we sure appreciate it. Hey, glad to be here. Glad you're here. All right. Thanks, guys.